Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at something that really sucks. Okay, today we're going to take a look at a uh, product which is from Audi in the UK, probably around the Europe as well. Around the Europe. Around... Uh, you know what I mean. It's in Audi, everywhere. They're all over the place. Worksone is Audi's own brand, and this is their 150 watt electric wet and dry vacuum cleaner. Now, what separates this from your normal wet and dry vacuum cleaners is the addition of an extra socket on the front there, which is a powered socket, so you can plug in your power tool and use it as a remote. So if you've got, say, for instance, a angle grinder or a bench grinder or some kind of circular saw, you can attach your saw to the vacuum and when you pull the trigger on your tool it activates the vacuum so you don't have to keep the vacuum running all the time so if you're in a workplace you can keep on talking telling people what you need to do or what you are doing and then when you press the trigger on your tool to start work the vacuum starts up so a pretty good thing but this at the moment is retailing for about 50 pounds in the uk so i'm not sure that equates to euros it's probably virtually the same um, as regard to dollars you're probably looking at about 65 dollars if they even actually do them in America. I'm not sure, I'll find out and I'll put in the links if they do. But anyway, this is the work zone 150 watt electric vacuum thing. Let's take it out of the box and see what you get. So first of all, you get your uh, instruction guide and user manual. Won't be needing that. Cardboard, don't need that. A bit more cardboard, don't need that. More cardboard. Oh, surprisingly more cardboard. Okay, it's Halloween coming up, so if you want your uh, Edward Scissor hands or Freddy Krueger hands, they come included in the box. And here we are. There's the unit, nice and reflective, so hopefully you can see uh, Kath filming me in the camera reflection, if you look closely. <laughs> so let's have a look at the ports, what we've got here. So at the bottom, You've got a drain plug, or drain hole. And that also works as a dust collection area for if you're using it in the bagged mode, I think. So this is the bit where you connect up your uh, hose pipe and your attachments. Just here you've got your 13 amp socket for plugging in tools. And on the top you've got your on, off, and automatic, so when it's in auto mode, pull the trigger on your tool or activate your tool, which is plugged in here, and it will automatically get this thing going. Uh, on the top there, that's where the handle attaches. And around the top area, actually, you've got indentations. There, 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 and there. And that's for tool storage, I believe. So on the back, you've got your exhaust, which also you can attach the hose pipe to to use as a blower. And it's always handy to have a blower. So again, on the back, more tool storage areas here. So you can put your tools on there, load it up in your van, and you're good to go. So hopefully the rest of the stuff is inside here. So you've got really heavy duty clasps there. They're pretty good. Plastic, but heavy duty. And inside here, you've got the pre-fitted uh, panel filter, or perforated or pleated filter, whatever they call it, and to tighten or loosen, it says on there. So loosen is that way. Oops. And that should just pull off, he says. Okay, that doesn't want to come off. Wow, that is on tight. So that's a hell of a seal on there. So including the kit, hopefully. Actually, let's go what's inside here. So inside you've got your uh, hose, one, whatever you want to call it. So that's about one, two, two and a half, nearly three meters long. So that's a pretty long hose. Also, you get the standard sort of vacuum attachment. And as with most sort of vacuum attachments, you've got the extra 
brush bar so you can use that with or without depending on the surface you're using it on. So handle which attaches to the top, a couple of big wheels with washers. Now this is the filter that you use if you're using this in wet mode use this filter, if you're using it in dry mode use this filter and you can actually get uh, optional bags which go inside as well so if you're doing really fine dust you can use a dust bag in conjunction with that just to give it a little bit more filtration. That is completely washable as is that. So also inside you get another hose pipe thing, crevice tool, or two wheels and two screws and more cardboard. Now all the inside is a uh, metal drum uh, it looks like it's sort of stainless steel so it should be easy to keep clean and every time you want to use it you can just give it a wipe through to keep it clean it should be good for a good few years. So that is what you get and this is all the kit that you can see in front of me. So what we'll do now is we'll quickly assemble it and turn it on and see how good it is. So first of all let's put the wheels on. Whilst pinching my finger. Uh, what else do we need to do? So let's put the dust filter on. Uh, lock that into position. Now I don't suppose it makes much difference which way you put this back on. I'm going to put it back on the way it should be, which I guess was, is with everything at the front. Yeah, and there's little indentations there so you can see if you've got it in the right place or not. Let's get our tools out. Not too sure what this one's for. Maybe to adapt that so you can plug it into there. Who knows? That is the connection of how it attaches to the vacuum. So if you see it pushes on there and you twist and that locks into position. So that's all good and connected. So the handle goes on top. And we've got a couple of screws just to keep that in place. The trusty Leatherman Miniman. Oh crap. Trusty Leatherman little man thing. Okay, so that's all that connected up. So let's plug it in now. And speaking of plugging in, cable length, looking at one, two, three, four, four and a half, five meter cable, roughly. Actually, it probably tells you on here. Actually, speaking of which, let's go through some of the specs. You've got a 30 liter tank, auto start feature, three in one, so wet, dry, and blow. And you've got a two and a half meter hose which is that one, so I said that's two and a half meters, three meters, so it wasn't too far off. And as you can see with this, uh, I'm not sure if you can see or not, you get a three year warranty. Uh, Audi are legendary for their warranties of uh, anything that breaks, take it back and they replace it. But you've got a three year warranty with Audi on here, which is uh, a brilliant. Okay, so I've worked out now what that is for. That is an adapter which should live in there. So then you can plug in whichever your other attachments you want on there. So, so that's pretty damn powerful. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use the auto start feature. So you plug in your power tool into the front. And on the top, use the switch and you switch to auto. So now when the tool starts up here, actually for authenticity, I'll put this in the back. <laughs> Which typically doesn't fit, so you might need an adapter to fit your power tool. But just so you get the idea. 
So in theory now, when I pull the trigger on this, it's gonna automatically start at the vacuum. So fingers crossed that's what it's gonna do. And there we go, With, uh, without any intervention, it started up and there was a slight delay after, which is a great thing. So there's, I think there's about a five second delay after. So I'll show you that again. And there we go. That's the auto start feature, which is a really handy thing to do if you're uh, rather than having this thing running all day long. You can just have it so it kicks in. You could have one of these permanently attached to the back of your workshop just to get dust from your uh, wood shavings and what have you. But anyway, I've waffled on far too much. This has been the uh, Audi Workzone 1500 watt electric wet and dry vacuum cleaner with wet and dry and blow functions <laughs> and six accessories. I think some of those accessories aren't quite accessories, but still it says six accessories. So you've got a three year warranty, you've got after self support on that telephone number there. Uh, you're looking at about 50 pounds at the moment in Audi. Maybe a great little Christmas present for the, uh, the DIY enthusiast in your life. I've been Mike, this has been Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.